Good evening. We are following breaking news in the death of a Prince George's County police officer tonight. Thank you for joining us. I'm Tony Perkins. And I'm Sean Yancey. Investigators now believe Officer Jakai Colson was killed by friendly fire. He was off duty and in plain clothes when he arrived on the scene after the ambush was underway. Police say while Michael Ford was shooting, his two brothers were video recording the shootout. He's 28 years old, supposed to be celebrating his birthday this week, and his loss is not only being felt here in our community, but also in the Philadelphia area where Colson was from. Bill Anderson is from our sister station in Philadelphia and is joining us now with more on that part of the story. Good evening, Bill. Good evening, Sarah, Laura. You know, you pointed out such a tragic situation, and we were sitting there watching the press conference as well. We heard the police chief talk about what a bright light Officer Colson was, and that's what we experienced here. He grew up just outside of Philadelphia, played sports here, has a godson here, has a lot of people that he is still deeply connected to. And I went over to the school where he grew up, where he played sports and spoke to them, and they're just shocked that someone who was so positive would lose their life in such a tragic way. 28-year-old Maryland police officer Jakai Colson was shot and killed outside a Landover police station Sunday afternoon as three men ambushed officers. Since that time, those who knew him have been sharing the high-quality individual that he was. He's an incredible student athlete, um, the kind of kid you always wanted to coach. Uh, the kids, he was well-liked, uh, well-mannered. Uh, raised by, by great people. We lost a, a, a great kid. Officer Colson was serving in Maryland, but had deep ties to the Philadelphia area. He grew up in Boothwin, played basketball and football at Chichester High School, and maintained several close friendships. School officials who knew him said the community lost a great young man. 20 plus years, you go through a lot of kids, and when you hear something like this, it just, it just you know, punches it right in the stomach, and it's a shame. And, um, he was a great kid. I just, I can't say enough about him and his family. Officer Colson's commitment to serving others also originated in the Boothwin, Chichester area. His grandfather, James, was a 40-year veteran of the Chichester Police Department, and friends say Officer Colson was inspired by his grandfather. And he Blood. idolized his yeah. grandfather, so um, that could have been a big push for him to be a police officer. Jakai Colson was described as a leader, a role model, and a good friend. And those who knew him are at a loss over why someone would take a life from someone who was already giving it to so many. No one could say they didn't like him. He was just, you liked him. No, and that's the difficult part that we continued to hear from people as we spoke to them. Everybody liked him. There were no negative words. His closest friends were saying that he was still actively involved in their life. He was that positive figure. So this is really hard for them to accept. This is not the way they expected someone who was so positively impacting others to actually have their life end. Bill Anderson in Philadelphia for us. Thank you so much from our affiliate there. And just, it makes you angry. And, and it's understandable to see the chief angry as well when you hear about what a wonderful person he was. Doesn't matter, you know, no matter what, this right. person should not have died yeah. in this instance. Right. And it's so frustrating to see this happen to Horrible. one of our people protecting our community. And that's why you saw the frustration yeah. that was coming out of that department today. All right, All right we'll be back with... Uh this is Fox 5 Local News at 6.